Okay, this is the layout board I was talking about. Oh, and by the way, sorry for the mess. I've uh, been building a poker table. So it's like a disaster in here. But anyways, this is how I lay out my films on my screens. Okay, and I'll just I'll walk around it so you can see it. It's basically just a board at a 45 degree angle on a stand. Okay, and then... Sorry, I'm trying not to shake the camera so much. And then I have two bolts set in the bottom and one in the side. Okay, and I'll explain why that is in a second. But basically all I did to make these bolts is they, there's like, um, I can't remember what they're called. Actually, I have some right here that I'm using for this poker table. But there are, let's see if that'll zoom in on that. I don't know if it's going to. They're, they're basically a nut with a flat washer and then some little teeth to bite into the wood. And they're called T-nuts. Okay, and I just got them in the size of bolts I was using. And I spun them on backwards and then pounded them down in and then just put a nut and a washer on the back. Okay, this, this up here is where the bolt head would be, and I just ground that off smooth, if that makes sense, hopefully. Okay, so anyways, after I did that, then I measured from this bolt over here to the center line of my screen. Okay, because what, what I do is that I'll take an old crappy screen frame, is... You take it and you put it down like that, and then you're going to slide it over till the side bumps there, and it's touching both there, and then you put it down against the, the thing like that. Okay, so now I know that this center line is exactly in the center of my screen frame. Okay, so this is how, this is how it works right now. I'm going to modify it because this, this way is kind of a pain. But what I do is I take my film and I have some double-sided some double -sided tape. And I'll put the tape on, I don't know if you can see that, to where the tape corner just barely hangs over on the top and bottom. Okay, And then what I'll do is I'll come over here and depending on where I want the top of my image, is what these lines are. So let's say I wanted it right there for this particular job. I'd put it right here in the center, and then I would just, and then you kind of have to make sure the bottom's good, roughly, right? And then I just tap the tape right there. And then on the bottom, you scoot it over so it's center, tap it right there. And now it's sitting there waiting for your screen frame. And, and, <clears throat> Granted, this, this frame would have emulsion on it, obviously, but you, you set it down to where it's sitting on both of those, and then over here, you slide it over until it bumps that, and it's touching down there still, and then you just lay it down on top of the film, and then you just rub over the top of the emulsion where the tape would be, and then when you peel it off, your film is stuck to the back of the fr the the screen. Okay, and it, it works really well as long as you um, set a certain mark. You can set your registration mark in the same spot for multicolor jobs, and it gets the films put on in like a really really close, like really close. There's almost no adjustments I need to do on press with this system. <clears throat> okay, now the way I don't like it is the, the double stick tape is just a huge pain. It, it really is. Sometimes when you stick the frame down on, you rub it on, it doesn't stick to the back of the frame well enough and you go to pull it up and it doesn't come off. So... The way I'm going to change it is I've built this frame right here, OK? 
okay? And if you notice this frame, if I set it like this, fits inside of the screen frame, okay? So now what I was gonna do is I'm gonna take this and bring this frame up here and wherever, wherever it would have to be like side to side to be directly center of my frame and wherever it has to be up and down to be center of my frame is where I'm gonna mount it, okay? And then on top of that, I have this sheet of white acrylic that's gonna go over the top of it, like this, okay? So then what's gonna happen is, imagine all that's gonna be on top of the, on top of there. Then I'm gonna cut out the center of this board. So it's gonna be my frame, and then the center's gonna be gone, and then the white acrylic is gonna go over the top of it. So then, instead of laying my screens on like this and sticking them down, I'm gonna flip them over, and they're still gonna to touch the, the bolts, I'm gonna slide over here, but now they're gonna be sitting like this, upside down. And the reason I'm doing that is on the white acrylic, I'm going to cut some black vinyl with my vinyl cutter with the center lines, and I'm gonna have the top and bottom marks for where I want art and like probably a left chest print and things like that. So then when it's sitting on top of there, it's gonna be, it's gonna look the same as if like this. You can see how you can see the lines through the emulsion as soon as you lay it down. Okay, and then the reason I'm cutting out the back is I'm gonna add a light because when you add a light, Oh, now my flashlight doesn't want to work for me. But anyways, when you add a light to the to the back of it, it lights up, it, it like makes it even more, more defined. And you can see it even easier. So, that's just going to make it, uh, and then all I'll have to do is take, instead of using double-sided tape, then I'll, I'll be able to see the lines through the emulsion. And the other thing I thought I, I should mention is the thickness of this frame along with the thickness of the quarter inch acrylic will make this screen frame sit up about a quarter of an inch off the table. It'll still be able to sit on the, on the pegs because they're long enough, but it's gonna sit up about a quarter of an inch so then that way I'll know that my emulsion will be completely touching the um, white acrylic with the vinyl on it. So then what I'll be able to do, the only difference is in, before I was putting it on normal, you're going to have to flip it over so it's, so it's backwards. But then I'll just line it up like this and hold it and just stick some normal tape on it. And then I know when I go to take it off, it's not going to pull the thing off and all sorts of other weird stuff. So, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how I did it. It's really, it was really easy to build. The other thing too I was planning on doing is this frame is built for 20 by 24 static frames. But I do plan on getting bigger sizes in the future. And so on this on this one cor on this side and this side where the frame would go I'm going to dowel it okay so this frame and then I'll have holes in the frame so I can I can slide the frame onto those dowels and then I'll cut out more over here and up this way and taller and have a different frame with a different acrylic on the front with a different center line that I can snap out and snap the other frame in that will accommodate a bigger frame. But by being able to snap it out and snap the other one in, the, uh, 
the center lines, I'll be able to just leave the center line. So the center line will always be centered from this dot over to the center line for whatever free screen frame um, adapter, I guess you could say, I decided to snap into it for whatever I was registering. That's the plan anyways. Not totally sure how well it work, but let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to take any more pictures or videos or whatever, I'd be happy to do it. All right, thanks, bye.